Okay, so these are just yes or no. Are five and six a linear pair? No. No, they don't Never. form a straight line. Oh. Are five and nine a linear pair? Yes. Yes. Are five and eight a linear pair? No. 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 Remember, they got to form a straight line. Are five and eight vertical? Yes. So vertical, vertical is up and down. So yeah. vertical are formed by two straight lines. Yes. So five and eight, you can see when I color it in, they are opposite each other. Mm -hmm. So that would be yes. You guys can draw on yours too, I think, mm -hmm. if you need to. Are five and seven vertical? No. No, no because they got to be two straight lines. They aren't next to each other, but is nine and six vertical? No. No, because this is a straight line, but this one is not. Okay, sometimes, always, never. They always have these in the geometry books. Each, each question is independent. That doesn't keep going with the same numbers, just so you know. If angle one is 40, then two is 140. Is never, that never, sometimes, never, always, or never true? Never, never true. In this picture? Never. never. Wait, oh, no, oh, sometimes. sometimes it could be true, I suppose. It, uh, never true. No. No, no, never. No, never. No, never. No, yeah, never. it's never. Because they would have to be equal to each other because they're vertical. If four is 130, is 250? Uh, yeah. Yes. 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 Are one and four congruent? No. Sometimes. 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 When would they be? When they be equal to one. Maybe. So what would they each have to be in order to be congruent? Complementary. No, supplementary. No, no. They, they do have to be supplementary. <laughs> But if one and four were congruent, what? How many degrees would they each have to be? Ninety, right? Because ninety and ninety adds up to one eighty. Even though the picture doesn't look like it, you could have a uh, two lines that cross that could be ninety ninety. So that's one is sometimes. Okay, the measure of two plus three equals the measure of one plus four. Yeah. Always. Is angle two congruent to angle one? Yeah. Always, because that's vertical angles. And the measure of angle two equals 90 minus three. Uh, um, yes. Always. Never. 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 What is it minus three? You wouldn't take 90 minus 3, what would you do? You take 180. 180 minus. Because if you got to take the 180 and you subtract 3, that will give you angle 2. Wait, do we have to put that down? No. It's never. 